Hey there patient DIYers! So today I'm going to turn a men's sweater into a pair of shorts, some leg warmers, and a sassy beret. Now if you haven't seen my other sweater repurposing video where I turn a sweater into a skirt, a beanie, and a pair of mittens, be sure to check that out too. So let's start off with the shorts. First, you'll need a pattern. Go ahead and draw a straight line on the edge of the paper as a guide. Grab a pair of shorts that fits well and is super easy to replicate. These are my old sleeping shorts that I bought in the kids section of Walmart. They fit and you can't judge me. To trace the shorts, I fold in the waistband, then I fold along the inseam, and then I fold along the center front, and bam, the pattern to the front of your shorts. I place the inseam on the guideline and I trace around the whole thing. Now for the back, you'll fold along the inseam and then the center back and also trace around that. Before you cut it out, make sure that the front and the back inseams matches up. You might have to erase the line and redraw them in and out quite a few times, but once they match up, you'll be very happy. Also, you'll want to make sure that the side seam matches up as well. I lay the sweater down flat and I grab the top middle and the bottom middle of the sweater with both hands and I lift. Now the front of the sweater will be on the right and the back of the sweater will be on the left. The side seams will be dead center and make sure that the side seams line up. So take the back piece of your shorts and lay the side seam on the side seam of the sweater. Do the same to the front of the pattern. Notice the gap in between the patterns? You can close it up by pushing the patterns together. Go ahead and cut all the way around the pattern and notice that I left a little bit extra because I want to put in a waistband later. Go ahead and face them right sides together and sew up the center back and center front. This is where the magic happens. You'll grab the top side seam and the bottom side seam, pull and ta-da! You get a pair of shorts. And because I'm a lady, I'm going to go ahead and sew up the crotch. So the last thing you need to do is to sew in a waistband and you can check out how I did that in this video here. So you'd be the most comfortable and cute shorts ever. By the way, you can buy these at H&M for like $24 or something, but what's the fun in that? There is still a lot of sweater left and I went ahead and smoothed out the arms and cut as closely as I can to the armpits. I'm going to flip them inside out and I'm going to try them on Luna, my mannequin. Since these are men's arms, they are going to be a little bit loose, so I pinch to fit and I sew on the pinch line and blend it into the seam where it does fit. I also cut two elastic that fits around my calf and using the same method in this video, I attached the elastic on my leggings. So there you go, thick and warm leg warmers. Now if you use my elastic method, you can't even tell you made these, they kind of look a little store-bought. Lastly, let's top this off with a hat. You will need a circle for this hat, and mine is about 21 inches in diameter. The bigger the circle, the floppier the hat. I'm going to use the back of the sweater because it has the most surface area for my circle, and I lay it right on top and I cut right around it without cutting through the front of the sweater. So I'm going to use a plastic needle for this, but any needle would work just fine. I run a straight stitch around the edge of the circle, and when I meet the beginning of my stitch, I pull on both of the strings to gather the circle. Using the front of the sweater, I cut out a strip. The length should be the diameter around your head, mine is about 2 inches. The width is however wide you want the band to be. So I fold it right sides together and sew up the side. Then I fold it so that the seams and the wrong sides are touching. Now I place the band over the beret, matching up the raw edges. It's easier to make the beret opening a little smaller and then letting out extra gathers as you need them while you pin along. Now you just zigzag stitch all the way around the hat and call yourself super awesome. So that's that guys, be resourceful and be inspired. Remember I have a lot of notes in the description box so your answers might already have been addressed so please check that out and I will catch you guys later. Rock on fashionistas and bye!